Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the month of October. So this is for Taurus. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus for the month of October. So this could happen at any time in October. We're going to start right here. What do we have for October for Taurus? Maybe fixing something. Maybe you're going to be fixing something in October. Leadership. So you may be in a position of leadership. I mean, the card speaks for itself. You have the ability. You're very capable of taking the lead. You're a survivor. So I do feel as though, I mean, this says it all. You're going to be in a position of leadership. You are going to be probably um, put in a position. Maybe leadership is about being the boss. You're going to be put in a, in the position of... People may be looking up to you, okay? Um, you're going to have to be in control, so you will be. You will be. If, you, if you're put in that position, you know, you persevere. So I do feel like you have the skills and you will be uh, taking the lead. It looks like you're going to be having some followers, okay? People are going to be following your lead, probably seeking your advice. Hold on. Three of coins. So three of coins, three of pentacles, about working together. So it's about teamwork. And interesting. So you're going to be working with a team, but you're going to be put in the lead role, which is interesting. You're going to be making, you know, people are going to be coming to you for your expertise. You may, you're, it's like almost like you're the boss here. You're going to be assigning roles. You know, you do this, you do that, that kind of thing. A position of leadership. It feels like, you know, up here, see this guy's giving a thumbs up. Everybody's communicating. There's going to be a lot of communication, a lot of teamwork to make something run smoothly. But it feels like you're the boss. This may have something to do with travel, you know, you're going someplace. Definitely fixing something as well. So interesting, interesting. Anyway, you're going to be fixing something, working with other people. It's like you're giving the orders. I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, this, this, and this, and this. Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. You're going to need to be taking, you're going to be taking a chance. This is something different. It's something that you probably have wanted all your life. Carrot, opportunity or windfall. So yes, you have a new opportunity here. Ooh, on the bottom we have a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. I do feel like there's some sort of travel involved. Opportunity or windfall is coming. This is definitely something risky. 
It is. I know that it is because it's a, there's always a chance that things could go wrong. But you have to have courage. You have to face your fears by the looks of things. You are very strong. Okay, you are very strong. You are very capable of being successful. So you're going to be doing something risky this month. It does involve other people. You are going to probably be working with people that... I feel like you haven't ever worked with these people before. You're going to be communicating with them. You're going to be learning some things. You have a new opportunity coming. Hmm. Looks good, doesn't it? People are going to be asking you, what do you want? What do you want? You know, they're going to be following your orders. You're in charge. What do we got for Taurus? Of course, of course. The tower reversed. Okay, so this is moving. You could be moving this month. I mean, you never saw it coming. It's very sudden, a sudden move. Something could be happening very suddenly. This could be building a new foundation someplace else. This may have to do with a, you know, a tower is a place that you could live, you know. Uh, there's some sort of disruption. This is the end. It is the end. It's time to rebuild some places. You may have been avoiding a change, but you can't avoid it any longer. You have avoided this upheaval. You've avoided this disruption or this change, but this is now it's unavoidable. It's like the universe saying the time is now. It's time for you to take the lead. I don't know, maybe it has something to do with being cold. Because when I saw that polar bear, I thought cold. But I wasn't sure how it fit in. Knight of Pentacles. This is a plan. This is hard work. You are going to be working really, really hard. And this does have to do with a foundation. Now, this may, this could have to do with a job. It could have to do with a home. It could have to do with your health. Okay, this is building a more stable foundation. And the tower can also be your body. The Knight of Pentacles is a hard worker. This is about building a uh, foundation, uh, making a profit, getting a profit of some sort. It may have something to do with money. Page of Pentacles works hard, is willing to do whatever it takes to be successful. You may be working on your financial security this month. Working on your money, working on your financial, uh, your bank account or something like that. Nine of Cups reverse. Now the Nine of Cups is dissatisfied in reverse. We have somebody here that has overdone it. They have overdone it. They've overspent or they've went overboard and now they need to recover. They've overindulged and maybe they've just, you know, went too far and... You know, there could be some sort of, well, whatever it is, it's an overindulgence and it's time to get practical, to get real, to be responsible. So I feel like you have been avoiding responsibility maybe because this is avoiding, but now you got to get real. You need to get, you know, get solid with yourself, get stable. So you're working on your financial stability this month. You may be moving homes or because you want to move homes or something like that. The Nine of Cups Reverse is extremely dissatisfied, not happy, okay? Not happy with whatever has transpired. And I think it's been your own doing. You've overdone it in some way. Either you drank too much or you spent too much money or you ate too much or whatever it is. This is an overindulgence where somebody went too far and now they need to recover. Hmm. 
four of cups reverse now this is seizing a new opportunity it was an opportunity that you may have been ignoring or you were too scared to take or you just weren't ready for the responsibility or whatever the case was you know you've been missing an opportunity you know not doing your research not doing your work overdoing it playing whatever playing um, but now there's an opportunity that I think that you're taking you're taking an opportunity that you avoided taking in the past because you just it's something about responsibility it's like y'all you just didn't want to you know take the lead or something like that but this month you are taking the lead you are it's like I'm doing it I'm doing it and I think it is risky it is risky this is an opportunity that you didn't take before that you are taking now I'm ready for it. So that, that's what I mean. It's like I'm ready for it. I think that you've always wanted this. You've been wishing for it for a long time. It's always been a dream of yours. But for some reason you were ignoring it. And I think you were ignoring it because you were going to have to uh, work really hard to achieve it. You were going to probably have to work with other people. It was kind of risky. Whatever. You were avoiding change. Now you are ready to take a new opportunity to get real, to get practical, and put in the hard work. Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands is perseverance. This is growing weary. This is strength. This is confidence. This is a lot of doubt. I feel like you do have a lot of doubt in your head. I feel like you've come a long way. And I feel like if you don't give up, your hard work is going to pay off. I feel as though, um, you know, the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. That has made it, that has come through a, some sort of disaster, okay? It feels like there has already been, obviously, we've all had them, a tower moment that wounded you. You've been in some, and maybe that's why you have been procrastinating. Okay, but now I feel like you found your determination. It's like you are determined. You are determined to, uh, I don't know, maybe it's protect yourself from something. You're determined to take ownership I feel like you are expecting trouble though. I feel like you are this is like this is like a fortress, both of these cards. It's like you are a fortress. You are a force to be reckoned with. And I feel like you've been avoiding change because change is when you, when you when there's a big change, you have to be that strong person. You have to be ready for adversity. You have to be ready for upheaval. You have to be ready for anything. And I feel like You've been procrastinating with this move because it's going to take a lot of effort to go there. Anyhow, um, you're on your own. I feel like you're, this is like you're on your own. Five of Cups. This is sadness. Look at that. Five of Cups. This is this is crying over this spilled milk. You've been wounded. You have been wounded, and this is this is the this is somebody that has you have been wounded by something. Somebody hurt you really bad, and I feel like that it it, it, it may have crushed your self esteem or something like that, and it, which caused you to overindulge and maybe bury the feelings or whatever. I feel like, you know, there's a love that has been lost. And you've been missing an opportunity. Okay, with that two of cups, you haven't even you know, you haven't even given somebody another chance because you're so wounded. You are so this is so wounded. But I feel like I also feel I also feel like you this you may have a protector here. You, especially if you are the woman watching this, and no, no offense to you men watching this, but we have a woman here who has somebody that may uh, be interested or maybe want to fight for her or something like that. Anyhow, this Five of Cups is deep sadness. 
you may be suffering, you may be feeling some sort of sadness over a loss this month. Maybe there's some sort of event that happens that um, makes you uh, see. It makes you see that there's another opportunity by the looks of things. There is going to be an event. There is. There's going to be. This is like, this is a permanent loss of some sort. It is that you never saw coming. Whatever this is, and it has to do with, I feel like it has to do with drinking, and I'm, I could be wrong. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, this is sad. This is very sad. This is deep sorrow over a loss. And I think that you are always on the lookout. You're expecting trouble. You are. It's like you are expecting trouble because you you've had to deal with it for so much. This nine of wands. It's like the it's like the nine lives of a cat. It's like you've it's one thing right after another, right? So I feel like you you've been putting off this move, whatever it is, because of all the trouble you've experienced in the past. And I feel like you've experienced another loss recently okay that is uh very recent i feel like it's a recent loss but i th feel like you know the tower comes in to uh, force change okay to to force you to start with a clean slate so i feel like you are, are it's like the universe is saying okay it's time for you to go someplace else you've procrastinated long enough you've you've delayed here's the opportunity now you now you have the opportunity. Okay? Now here's the we're giving you the opportunity right now. Right now to to have the wish that you've always wished for. So I think this is a dream come true. I feel like uh you've been missing an opportunity for a long time because if you were you were playing it safe. You were playing it safe. Um Six of Pentacles. This is receiving something. You may somebody may be receiving a payout, a big payout. I, and I don't know why I feel like it's a big payout because I feel like this opportunity or windfall is coming. It's totally unexpected. Somebody may I don't know. Maybe they're giving you they're signing some sort of money over to you. I don't know who that would be. I don't know who it would be. But you some maybe you're getting a loan. I don't know. I feel like you're going to be receiving some money. This money is going to help you to take that new opportunity. Okay, whatever. I feel like this has to do with a home. A home or a new job or I don't know if it's a partnership or not. I don't feel like it is. I feel like you are going to be receiving. It's almost like a generous offer or a gift or whatever you're going to be if you are if you have applied for a loan you're going to get the loan you know and it's going to help you uh with this sad situation it's going to open your eyes okay your eye it's like it is you're going to be it's almost like you are going to be breaking free it's going to whatever this money is it's going to help you to break free from a situation that was uh not making you happy okay the situation wasn't making you happy it was making you feel down it was causing you a lot of tears or, or sadness or deep sorrow and I feel like you were trying to hide it you were trying to bury that you know with some sort of addiction okay I don't know what the addiction was but I feel like you were trying to bury your sorrow in some sort of addiction but now I feel like you're picking yourself up you're picking yourself up Interesting. You're going to definitely be doing something risky. You're going to be receiving help as well. Somebody's going to be giving you something that sets you on the right path. Put it that way. Queen of Wands. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or this could be you. Queen of Wands is somebody that is very confident. 
very, very proud, very determined, very strong. You may be working on your health. Your health may improve, be improving this month. This is this is taking an adventure. I feel like you are. Um, finding that confidence and that drive you're finding that drive that you have lost it's almost like you it's almost like you've changed you know you change your direction you decide it's like you decide you decide to take action you're going to be receiving a very generous offer from somebody or gift This this gift is very, I think it's a monetary gift, and I don't say that very often. I feel like this is from somebody that, I don't know, I feel like they, they were rich, or they're rich. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, could be, I don't know, could be a banker of some sort. Anyhow, I feel like uh, you have a new opportunity that is being taken. I think you're going to take it. I think that you are interested in looking forward now. You're done crying over the loss. You're done holding on. You're ready to move. And you're going to be moving. If you, some of, not everybody, but there's, there's like moving here with that tower reversed. It's like you have this desire. You do. It's like you have this desire for wish fulfillment and you're taking action interesting the fool the fool reversed now the fool reversed is need to have faith you need to have faith you may be unprepared for something you, it's like you don't have any faith you need to have faith you need to have confidence this month Hmm. The wheel of fortune reverse. The wheel of fortune reverse is a setback. It is a setback. It's a delay. It's not a good time to start new things. Past mistakes coming back to haunt you. You may have made some foolish mistakes in the past. But you have to find your confidence in your determination to not repeat those mistakes you have an offer coming that can change your direction but I feel as though you need to take initiative I feel like this month something isn't something didn't work out for a reason somebody may be trying to hold you back too so keep that in mind you may be you could be dealing with a somebody that is very controlling that tries to hold you back. This person has a lot of fire energy. It could it has a lot of fire in their chart. Okay, it doesn't have to be a fire sign, it could be a fire moon sign, a fire uh rising sign, whoever it is. It feels like somebody is trying to hold you back. It is a fire sign, or somebody that has a lot of fire in their chart could be Aries moon or Aries rising or Leo rising, Leo moon, you know, Leo sun, Aries sun, whatever. Um, somebody is trying to hold you back. It feels like you want to take a journey. You want to. You want to. But somebody's trying to hold you back. This person wants to control. You're going to have to be strong and take the lead you're receiving an offer but it feels like you got to take the offer now right now you can't wait you got to take this offer right now do you want it or not you got somebody here that wants to control 
they may tell you they may tell you that you know this isn't a good time this isn't a good time but they're thinking about themselves whoever this person is they're not thinking about you they're thinking about themselves they say oh you shouldn't do it right now now's not the right time they may not be happy with your decision put it that way Anyway, Taurus, I feel though as though in October you are going to be working on building a new foundation, whether it's, it has to do with a home, a job, your body, whatever. There's something that you are going to need to fix. I think that you are right to expect trouble. I think that there is somebody that is going to try to hold you back from going after what you want. I feel like you are in a situation that is definitely hard to deal with. I feel like you probably have some regrets. You probably feel guilty. I feel as though you have a golden opportunity right now to go someplace else and in order to do that, you're going to have to face your fears and take a risk. And I think that that's the biggest problem here is that typically you don't like to take risks. So Taurus, I feel as though uh, somebody's going to be giving you this opportunity, okay? It's like you have this opportunity right now, okay? This is a gift, a gift or a loan or something like that. Um, it's going to, this is something that is really going to spark your interest but I feel like it has to do with moving you know it has to do with moving and it may not be the right time for that other person whoever this third party is or whatever this other person somebody may be like oh no it's not the right time well they're not you you have to do what's right for you and I say that because of the nine of wands you have to protect yourself you have to do what's right for you I feel as though you are a veteran to this. You are a veteran to people trying to hold you back. Now it's time to show them the skills that you have learned throughout the years. Don't let this person hold you back. You are receiving a generous offer to build someplace else. My advice is to take it. Don't let them instill fear in you. Because whoever you're talking to may try to scare you. You know? Instill fear. And that's their way of holding you back. One more card. Five of Swords reversed. Now the Five of Swords reversed is... <sighs> Not good, okay? The Five of Swords reversed is... War. Fighting. Uh, ego. tension, power struggles, you know, uh, do you want to, now the thing is, is you're going to have to decide, do you want to be happy, do you, because that's the thing here, sometimes to be happy, you have to walk away from people that don't support you. So I, f I feel as though this month uh, you are going to need to face your fears and probably walk away from people that don't support you. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're going to be given a gift, okay? Whatever this is, okay, the Six of Wands, okay, this is, or Six of Pentacles, this is a gift, this is a generous offer. 
whatever this is, this will allow you to get your life back on track and head towards peace and harmony. This is this is this is like justice. It's get getting what you deserve. You are going to get an offer that helps you. It's almost like go after your dreams, your wish fulfillment. But then you're going to have to make a decision. Because there is somebody here that's going to say, oh no. What about me? And you're going to have to be like, well, what about me? Good luck.